are, people. Vigilante 8, second offense. V8, I like that guy. They're trying to offend you two times. That's right. Now they're going, you have like your arcade mode, your quest mode, which is like the storyline, and survival, which you get to just go blow each other up or... And like uh, kill as many people in one shot as they, possible. They have a Pennsylvania level with a site that's, quote, near Pittsburgh. Always bet on black. Mr. Wesley Snipes. Always bet on black. That's right. <laughs> God, that was a horrible movie. <laughs> <laughs> now this is, uh... Supposed to be Pittsburgh, eh? No, this is the uh, NASA launch site. Oh, yeah. I just did a funky editing job in there and threw them threw them together backwards, but that it made more sense at the time. And each site is like this big kind of... Not really big, but it's kind of like a stadium almost. Where you can drive around a certain distance. If you if you go to the end of it, you know you're just gonna hit a wall. Yeah, if you wind up in the if you can hit a wall, if you wind up in the water, you just sink. You come out of it. The, there's always like a tunnel or a railroad track type tunnel or something that you come out of. And you can pretty much blow up anything in the background. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to play with too. There's like wind tunnels here and there. Now here you're gonna see the other, the bad guy starts coming after me. That's whack the whack I think that's the wonder bug is what it's called. <laughs> But you, you know, you just basically go at it with the other car here, driving around the obstacles. You can run, you know, you can run through that thing. You can run into here and hit the space shuttle and go blow through the gates. Nice. And there's a wind tunnel you can get sucked through. I do show that in a little bit here. Palm, yeah. You have to run through palm trees. This is pretty. This is pretty sweet. I really like this game a lot. It's better than the twisting. Uh, was it twisted metal series? See, I just it's got bigger environments, more like more stuff to blow up. Cooler cars, better weapons. I just thought it was average. The gameplay did not really enthrall me that much. And I yeah, dug it. There I you dug it. You blew that thing. A very, as I said, very middle of the road gaming. There's the wind tunnel. Where he's <laughs> about to suck you through it. The cars are catching more air than the rockets. Kind of unrealistic. You just, you just move around and. Kind oh, of unrealistic. Here, here's, the <laughs> there's the wind tunnel. Just sucked me out and the bad guy. Yeah, that's a cool car. I like that. Uh, there, El Camino, which I chose. And you get to pick your bad guys too, depending on which which version you're. Now doing. this is so, the supposed uh, Pittsburgh. This is supposedly near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, we like to say that Pittsburgh doesn't look anything like this. It was a fun. I mean, this is the more fun level than the last one. And uh, I'm about to pick up something here, which this game has, which is unique that a lot of the other ones. Uh, the hovercraft. The hovercraft, right here. Oh yeah, you can turn your '70s whip into a uh, 2050 whip, whatever. Yeah, that's that's good, Dave. <laughs> and you can float over stuff. There's a bus down there in the bridge. They have I mean, little radar screens at the top, which you can see what's going on around you. You can see the damage that you've inflicted on certain vehicles, and then and upon yourself. Anyway, there's nice. a bus. That just got that's the Blue Burrow bus. They do have kind of funny names. Now you got you guys think, how can any game go wrong with with passenger fifty seven quotes <laughs> El Caminos. <laughs> And like 70s funk in the background. Yeah. It was okay. It was all right. And you get to blow a whole lot of stuff up. You do get to blow a it's lot of stuff up. It's big on the mass destruction scale. Yeah, it's definitely one of those party games where you and a bunch of your buddies pick up the controllers and just start whacking each other out with cars and missiles and bombs and guns and all kinds of other kind of explosive things. That's, it's, uh, that's, that's a good that's a good evening. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's definitely fun. It's, uh, you know, it's not the most deep game in the world. You know, it's not supposed to be... Uh, you know, any kind of magnum opus, but it's it's a fun game. It's a fun game to pick up with your friends and play. 